Have you ever thought about the vast, scattered islands of the Pacific Ocean and wondered, how did people get there? Pacific Islanders are not just remarkable for their vibrant cultures, languages, and traditions, they are also some of the most genetically unique people on the planet. Their history is a story of exploration, survival, and adaptation, spanning tens of thousands of years and countless miles of open ocean. But here's the twist, their genetic origins hold secrets that are only now being uncovered by modern science. From connections to ancient human relatives like the Denisovans to their unparalleled seafaring abilities, the Pacific Islander story is one of humanity's greatest mysteries and triumphs. In today's video, we're diving deep into their genetic history, exploring who these people are, where they came from, and the incredible journeys they undertook to populate some of the most remote places on Earth. So, buckle up. This is not just a story about the past, it's a tale of discovery, resilience, and the enduring legacy of human ingenuity. To understand the origins of Pacific Islanders, we need to start about 3,000 years ago with a group called the Lapida. These ancient people were pioneers, moving from Southeast Asia into the uncharted waters of the Pacific Ocean. They didn't just stumble upon the islands, they actively sought them out, carrying with them everything they needed to survive, food, animals, and even their unique pottery, which archaeologists still find today. The Lapida weren't just wandering aimlessly. They were master navigators, using the stars, ocean currents, and even the behavior of birds to guide them. Think about that for a second. They sailed thousands of miles without modern technology, reaching islands like Fiji, Tonga, and Samoa. These settlements became the foundation for what we now call Polynesia. But who were the Lapita people? Genetic studies show that they were a mix of Austronesians from Taiwan and indigenous groups from Melanesia. This blending created a new genetic identity, one that would shape the Pacific for generations. The Lapita weren't just bringing tools and pottery, they were also bringing their DNA, which would interweave with the genes of others already living in places like Papua New Guinea. The Lapida story is more than ancient history, it's the starting point of one of humanity's greatest adventures. Their legacy lives on, not just in the genetics of Pacific Islanders, but also in the traditions, languages, and stories passed down through the ages. As the descendants of the Lapida people settled across the Pacific, something remarkable happened. Over time, populations began to diverge, creating distinct groups with their own genetic identities. The two most prominent are Melanesians and Polynesians. Melanesians, who primarily inhabit islands like Papua New Guinea, the Solomon Islands, and Vanuatu, have a genetic story that's both fascinating and mysterious. One of the most surprising discoveries about Melanesians is their connection to the Denisovans, an extinct species of ancient humans. Denisovan DNA is almost non-existent in most populations around the world, but Melanesians carry up to 5% of it. That's the highest percentage of Denisovan ancestry found anywhere on Earth. But Polynesians tell a different story. As their ancestors moved eastward, settling islands like Hawaii, New Zealand, and Easter Island, they left behind much of the Denisovan legacy. Instead, Polynesians show stronger genetic ties to Southeast Asia, reflecting their Austronesian roots. This difference highlights just how diverse Pacific Islanders are, even though they share common ancestors. What's even more remarkable is how these genetic differences align with cultural and linguistic distinctions. Melanesians tend to have darker skin tones and frizzier hair, while Polynesians often have lighter skin and straighter hair. But these physical traits are just the tip of the iceberg. Beneath the surface lies a genetic tapestry that has been shaped by thousands of years of isolation, adaptation, and intermarriage. The story of Melanesians and Polynesians is a testament to how humans adapt to their environments and how genetics can reveal the hidden chapters of our history. Let's talk more about the Denisovans because their role in Pacific Islander history is nothing short of mind-blowing. Denisovans were a mysterious branch of ancient humans, related to Neanderthals, who lived in Asia tens of thousands of years ago. We know very little about them, mostly fragments of bone and teeth, but what we do know comes from their DNA. And here's the shocker, Melanesians carry more Denisovan DNA than anyone else in the world. 
This suggests that, at some point, Denisovans and the ancestors of modern Melanesians interbred. This ancient encounter likely happened somewhere in Southeast Asia, long before the Lapita people began their journey into the Pacific. But why does this matter? It's not just a quirky fact. Denisovan genes may have given Melanesians some very real advantages. For example, some scientists believe these genes helped Melanesians adapt to their tropical environments, influencing traits like immunity and skin pigmentation. In a way, the Denisovans live on, their legacy preserved in the genetic code of Melanesians. However, as Polynesians moved further east into the Pacific, they left this Denisovan heritage behind. This raises fascinating questions. Why did some genetic traits persist in Melanesians, but not in Polynesians? Was it a matter of geography, culture, or chance? Whatever the case, the Denisovan connection adds yet another layer to the Pacific Islanders' incredible story. It's a reminder that our ancestors weren't just explorers, they were survivors, adapting to new challenges in ways we're only beginning to understand. Now, let's turn our attention to one of the most astonishing feats in human history, the Polynesian expansion. Imagine sailing thousands of miles of open ocean with no maps, no GPS, and no guarantee of land ahead. Yet, that's exactly what Polynesians did, colonizing a region that spans over 10 million square miles. How did they do it? The answer lies in their unmatched navigational skills. Polynesians read the stars like a map, used ocean currents as highways, and even observed the flight patterns of birds to find islands. Their outrigger canoes were engineering marvels, capable of carrying families, animals, and supplies across vast distances. But this journey wasn't just about survival, it was about connection. Polynesians carried their culture with them, spreading shared languages, traditions, and genetic markers across the Pacific. Yet, they didn't stay isolated. Recent genetic studies suggest there may have even been contact between Polynesians and Native Americans long before Europeans arrived in the Americas. The Polynesian expansion is more than a story of exploration. It's a testament to human ingenuity. It's proof that even the most remote corners of the world can be reached with determination, skill, and a deep understanding of the natural world. Micronesians often get overlooked in the broader story of Pacific Islanders, yet their history is just as fascinating. Spread across a cluster of small islands like Palau, the Marshall Islands, and the Federated States of Micronesia, the people of Micronesia represent a unique blend of genetic and cultural influences. Genetically, Micronesians share traits with both Southeast Asians and Melanesians, but their ancestry diverged in surprising ways. Studies show that while they have clear Austronesian roots, like Polynesians, they also carry some of the Denisovan DNA found in Melanesians. However, the Denisovan contribution is smaller, suggesting a complex history of migration and intermarriage. What's striking about Micronesians is how they adapted to their specific environment. Unlike the large volcanic islands of Melanesia or the lush tropical climates of Polynesia, many Micronesian islands are atolls, tiny coral islands with limited resources. This scarcity shaped their culture and survival strategies. For example, Micronesians developed advanced fishing techniques and relied heavily on ocean navigation to trade and communicate with neighboring islands. Culturally, Micronesians also stand apart. Their languages are part of the Austronesian family, but they've evolved in unique ways, reflecting their isolation and contact with different groups. This linguistic diversity mirrors their genetic history, a tapestry woven from the threads of multiple migrations and adaptations. While Micronesians share some genetic and cultural similarities with their Pacific neighbors, they've carved out their own identity. Their story is a testament to the diversity and adaptability of human populations and a reminder that even the smallest islands can hold vast historical significance. To truly understand the origins of Pacific Islanders, we need to zoom out and look at the bigger picture, the Austronesian migration. This was one of the greatest population movements in human history, beginning around 5,000 years ago in what is now Taiwan. The Austronesians were skilled sailors and farmers who spread out across Southeast Asia and the Pacific, bringing their languages, technologies, and genetic signatures with them. They left a lasting imprint on the Philippines, Indonesia, 
and, of course, the Pacific Islands. But here's what makes the Austronesian migration so remarkable, it wasn't a single, linear journey. Instead, it was a web of movements, with people settling, intermarrying, and sometimes even returning to earlier locations. This created a dynamic exchange of genes and cultures, shaping the identities of the people they encountered. For Pacific Islanders, the Austronesian migration was transformative. It introduced new technologies, like advanced canoe building, and new farming techniques, like the cultivation of taro and yams. But it also brought a linguistic legacy. Today, nearly all Pacific Island languages belong to the Austronesian family, linking them to distant relatives in places like Malaysia and Madagascar. Genetically, the Austronesians left a clear mark on Polynesians and Micronesians, but their influence on Melanesians was more limited. This difference underscores the complexity of Pacific migration. While Austronesian genes and culture spread widely, they didn't completely replace the local populations they encountered. Instead, a unique blending occurred, creating the diverse genetic landscape we see today. The Austronesian migration is more than just a story of movement, it's a story of connection. It shows how humans have always been linked, even across vast oceans, by shared ideas, technologies, and genes. Fast forward to today, and genetic science is revealing secrets about Pacific Islanders that were unimaginable just a few decades ago. Advanced DNA analysis has not only confirmed many aspects of Pacific migration history, it's also uncovered surprising new connections. One of the most intriguing discoveries involves Polynesians and Native Americans. In 2020, a groundbreaking study revealed evidence of ancient contact between Polynesians and indigenous South Americans, possibly around 800 years ago. This suggests that Polynesians, with their unparalleled navigational skills, may have reached the coast of South America and interacted with local populations. What's even more surprising is that this contact left a genetic legacy. Certain populations in South America, particularly in Colombia, carry markers of Polynesian ancestry, while some Polynesians have genetic traces linked to Native Americans. This challenges long-held assumptions about the isolation of the Pacific and opens up new questions about the extent of ancient Trans-Pacific exploration. But that's not all. Modern genetics has also helped clarify the origins of Pacific Islanders. For example, we now know that Polynesians originated from a mix of Austronesian settlers and indigenous Melanesian populations, with the blending occurring as they moved eastward. Studies have even pinpointed specific migration routes, showing how people moved from Taiwan to the Philippines, then down through Indonesia and into the Pacific. These discoveries don't just rewrite history, they deepen our appreciation for the complexity and resilience of Pacific Islanders. They remind us that the story of human migration is far more interconnected than we once thought, and that the Pacific was not a barrier, but a bridge. The genetic history of Pacific Islanders is incredible, but it's only part of the story. Equally important is their cultural resilience, the way they've preserved their traditions, languages, and identities despite centuries of upheaval. Colonialism brought waves of outsiders to the Pacific, disrupting local societies and imposing foreign systems. Many Pacific Islanders were forced to abandon their ancestral lands, and traditional ways of life were often suppressed. Yet, through it all, they held on to their heritage. Today, dances, songs, and oral histories continue to be passed down, preserving the knowledge and spirit of the ancestors who first crossed the ocean. This cultural resilience mirrors their genetic story. Just as Pacific Islanders adapted to new environments and challenges, they've also adapted to changing times without losing their roots. Their languages, though endangered in some areas, remain a vital link to the past. Their art and craftsmanship, from top of cloth to intricate tattoos, reflect a deep connection to the land and sea. Even in the face of modern challenges, like climate change and globalization, Pacific Islanders are finding ways to thrive. They are reclaiming their narratives, using genetic studies to celebrate their unique heritage and remind the world of their contributions to human history. Ultimately, the story of Pacific Islanders is one of balance, between tradition and innovation, between past and future. It's a story that inspires us all to honor our roots while embracing the possibilities ahead.
The genetic history of Pacific Islanders isn't just a tale of migration or science, it's a celebration of human resilience and ingenuity. From their Lapita ancestors to their Denisovan connections, from their incredible navigational feats to their enduring cultural legacies, Pacific Islanders have shown what humanity is capable of when faced with the unknown. Their story reminds us that we are all part of something bigger, a web of migrations, exchanges, and connections that span the globe. And as science continues to uncover new chapters in this story, one thing is clear, the history of Pacific Islanders is not just their history. It's a shared human story, one that deserves to be celebrated and remembered. So, the next time you hear about the Pacific, think beyond the turquoise waters and sandy beaches. Think about the people whose ancestors crossed the ocean with nothing but their courage and knowledge of the stars.